simultaneous heating and cooling. Let me give you a little scenario here where I'm going to have, let's say, 15 kilowatts of cooling and 5 kilowatts of heating. So in that situation, the outdoor unit is doing majority cooling. So what we're going to do there, refrigerant is going to go from that compressor, it's going to go up to that reversing valve, and then we're going to send some of the refrigerant through the outdoor coil, and I'm going to take it from being a vapour to being a liquid. As we do so, that's acting as a condenser. And then I'm going to bypass some of that refrigerant as well. So some of the refrigerant is not going to go through that coil. So that's going to carry on being a nice superheated vapour. And I'm going to bring them both together and send them down the same bit of pipework to the VC box. So I've got this mix of gas and liquid passing down this bit of pipework. And it's going to stay the same until it gets to this gas liquid separator. Because what's going to happen there is you've got an enlarged bit of copper, you've got a slight pressure drop, at which point the liquid's going to go to the bottom and the vapour is going to go to the top. So I'm going to draw off my 5 kilowatts of vapour off the top of that gas liquid separator. So let's say I'm opening up this port here. I send that refrigerant through the indoor unit. <laughs> 